Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Andrew and Price here, also known as Altered Zego. And I'm here to show off something that I discovered in Minecraft 1.3. I think it's new to 1.3. I haven't seen it before. And I was going to demonstrate it for you here right now. And you may be looking at this and saying, why, that just looks like a block swapper. That's nothing new. But how about this? Is that new? I think it is. I, I mean, I'm. It may be existed in one point or one point two point five, but I'm fairly certain that's a new behavior. And I, I discovered today when working on my enchanting room, and I'm fairly certain it's something new. Now I don't know how useful it is, but it does seem to extend to all types of place uh, placeable items that can be placed on blocks. So torches, buttons switches anything it allows you to swap them like so and i don't know i'm not quite sure what to do with it now i have the only thing that i've thought of so far is this is you can put a glass block and then of course a torch underneath torches off and then you press the button torches Oh, that's interesting. I actually hadn't tried this before. Okay. Yeah, so it does work. Never mind. So yeah, it's a new type of switch, I guess. But yeah, I don't know. I just, I don't know how useful it is, but of course, you know, who thought that bud switches would have been useful? Uh, the way I discovered this was actually, uh, I had, was, had an errantly placed a torch, like, on top of a, um... Actually, I had that configured properly before. I had errantly put a, a torch on top of a block that was next to a piston, and then when it activated, I was like, hey, that's interesting. But, with, of course, with this, when the block moves out of the way, the torch pops off. Like so. But if you use a block swapper type configuration like this, it doesn't. And it seems to apply to any placeable item. So, you know, if I want to put a switch there... Oh, it, interesting. It does, like, because if I put, I guess it checks again to see if it's a uh, correct block type. So that doesn't work with those. See, we are learning together. Because there it works. But now that torches can be placed on glass, you can now use them as a means for turning on and off items. I don't necessarily know if this is going to be all that useful, but... Hey, you know, I don't think anyone else has discovered this. Of course, it's really hard to search for this kind of thing, because it's like you search for pistons, blocks, and torches, and you're going to get a whole bunch of tutorials and other things like that. But it's still kind of an interesting behavior. And, you know, like I said, it does work with about everything. So it's like, uh, I haven't tried vines or anything, but we could try those. But I do know it works with, like, uh, pressure plates, and I wonder if it works for doors. We will see. Well, I had to swap it back first. And this is probably going to fail because it's going to detect that it's an incorrect block type. So, let's see. Oh, and of course I... Uh, what don't I need? What don't I need? Ah, uh, there's that. All right. I guess it could be used for decoration purposes as well. Oh, interesting. It swaps the door. Huh. Very... Oh, well, I guess it's probably because there's a redstone torch and it's... That was what swapped it. Yep, that was it. But very interesting. I wonder. Because it didn't update last time. I wonder if this will do something similar to like a bud switch. Well, let's see. Here's what we would need to do. Uh... 
Uh, probably need to break that. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Hmm. Also, I know it does work with, uh, with redstone repeaters. Like I said, about any type of block it, it will work with. I wonder if it'll work with that. Um... Hmm. Well, of course that won't work because it's extended. Um, how about that? Oh, I can't do it with that because can't place it. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was genius. Oh, boy. See, this is why you don't do this type of thing on camera. Okay, okay. I'm pretty sure that'll break it because it'll. Uh... Let's see. Okay, so it won't. It does check to see each time if it's the correct. If that block can be placed there, but. Regardless, it's just kind of an interesting, uh, uh, just an interesting thing. I, I don't know really how useful it is, but, you know, I thought I'd go ahead and post this video and see if anyone else had noticed this, if th this is really new, uh, you know, and let's, you know, just see if there's anything, if anyone else can think of anything good to do with this type of uh, game mechanic, because it is just weird. So let's try this. I imagine this would work, but let's find out for sure. Yeah. Oh, would help if I put the redstone dust there. Yeah, so uh, really that's all I had to show today. It's just kind of a weird phenomenon. I guess you guys will have to play with it yourselves and see if it's something that's kind of... Uh, that you can think of anything to do with it, but... Uh, once again, this is Andrew and Price. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I guess hopefully it was interesting. If anything, it's weird. Um, I'm not... <laughs> I keep playing with it. I'm like, now how could I use this to do something? But uh, anyways, once again, Andrew and Price. I'm actually going this time. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. And as always, <laughs> good day and good gaming. Bye.